Hey nurses, nurse nurse here. I am a dialysis nurse here in the Philippines and welcome back to my channel where I upload all about dialysis and my journey in discovering nursing career. From the previous video, I just started a new series about dialysis access where I show you some how-tos and procedures. We've talked about AVF cannulation, so this time around, we are going to learn what dialysis nurses do after the treatment, which is AVF decannulation. Watch this. Remove the plaster following the direction of skin hair growth and support the skin with your fingers of the other hand while slowly lifting the tape. This allows the plaster to lift painlessly and maintain skin integrity. Hold the wing part of the needle. Slowly withdraw the needle until you are near the bevel. Position the round or hard PD with your other hand above the needle site but not touching the skin. Then briskly remove the remaining needle following the angle of the bevel and press the PD in synchronous manner. From the training, as far as I can remember, we were taught back then to remove the needle fast in one go. But what I've observed, the distance or the length of the needle starting from the wing part allows more blood to gush out from the wound side. Instead, I do it once I am near the bevel area. So slowly first, then briskly removing the tip of the needle. That way, the blood can be controlled with a PD pressed in synchronous manner. Also, I've mentioned following the angle of the bevel. This is to avoid traumatizing the integrity of the vessel inside. This is the same when cannulating. You insert it in a 25 degree angle. Then once blood flash, you flatten the angle parallel to the skin and advance slowly. Decannulating on the other end is the entire opposite. You start it flat, parallel to the skin, and end it in a 25 degrees angle. Talking about the difference between an arterial and a venous fistula needle, I have not thoroughly discussed this from the previous video. So aside from their distinguishing red and blue color, the arterial needle always has a back eye. This is to maximize the flow from the axis and reduce the need for flipping the needle. Other techniques to avoid flipping, especially if the axis side is already bulging, thereby experiencing walling, is to place a PD below the tubing to slightly angle it down away from the vessel wall. There are also fistula needles with rotating wings that contains a black and red marker. Black means the bevel is up while red the bevel faces downward. You can do this instead. Take note, flipping is different from rotating. Flipping is not recommended because when you do this, you flip the fixed wing that can cause tearing of AVF. Patient here is not a bleeder, so clotting the site does not take that long. I do this by taping the PD and asking the patient to hold it while I move to the other side. If the patient is bleeder, dab the PDs with betadine to help clot the wound site. FYI, betadine is both antiseptic and hemostiptic, meaning it is an astringent agent used topically to stop bleeding. The povidine and iodine content together have a chemocauterizing effect the reason behind cessation of bleeding. Make sure to prepare the sharps ahead to discard the fistula needle immediately after removing. Placing the fistula needle somewhere, even away from the patient, is still too risky. The arterial side clots longer than the venous, so here you can see that I use two round PDs just to make sure that bleeding has stopped. I don't have to remove the PD to check the site if it's still bleeding. Rather, I just slide it with a fresh PD below the old PD in the side where the needle is inserted. I do this to avoid the tendency of reopening the forb clot.
Once there's no blood anymore to the PD, I then change it to a flat PD. Previously in my hospital workplace, we use a 2-inch tape that fully covers the flat PD. If not, I improvise with 3-inch tapes. First to secure the flat PD, then double it with the two tapes overlapping each other. That's it! Hope you learned something from this video. If yes, don't forget to click like, leave a comment for some video suggestion, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Next up will be first time IJ initiation, so stay tuned as I take you with me in discovering nursing career. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.